That's not a hardware time. Okay, this week on the Python on Hardware newsletter, um, we cover everything because we do. Uh, yeah, I actually throw a lot of like Lisp and Scheme and yeah, Rust stuff into it, the newsletter it is, too. It is, it is a like programming newsletter, I think, because if you're doing coding, microcontrollers is that little pocket universe that you could do a lot of stuff with. Anyways, um, the OG uh, Arduino ID is out, a new one. 2.0. Looks so good. yeah, and so Arduino's already been kind of moving to Python land anyways, so we wanted to have, you know, some coverage on that. So you can check that out if you use Arduino. And obviously we've been doing a lot of Python stuff, but we're still the top library producer for Arduino. So have Yeah, we it. did a bunch of libraries recently. Yep. Um, of course Deep Dive is uh, this Friday coming up with Tim. CircuitPython Parsec with JP, CircuitPython show if you have not already seen it um, or downloaded yet or got it on your pod catching device or however and whatever you use to download and look and see videos or audio. Uh, Thea Flowers Yay. was the latest uh, person on the CircuitPython show, so sense, do check sense, it out. Sense, sense, sense. Becky, who I used to work with at Make and here at Adafruit, has a new series with DigiKey. Do check that out. And then um, lots of other, like, you know, Pi related things. Tom's Hardware has their uh, 100th Pi cast. Uh, they do a lot of cool Raspberry Pi content and more. Some Python um, tips. Ooh, this F string thing is handy. I do, can never remember F strings. Yeah. I have to look them up every single time. So, handy resources from our team. Um, our community help desk is back on September 26th. So, if you want any help with CircuitPython, come on by. Um, it's going to be part of, you know, October Fest ish. Oh uh, yeah! If yeah. You, people want to get T-shirts in October. Uh, get ready. Get your pull requests in. Um, you know, we will take uh, valuable. Valu I feel bad saying valuable. But we'll take pull requests that are not simple typo fixes, yeah. which is, has happened in the past. Um, get a couple PRs in, and you get a free T-shirt. And uh, a lot of projects using some Adafruit stuff. But this week, uh, highlight of the week I wanted to show. This is from. Geek Moms project. Oh yeah, this orb is cool. Yeah, so this is an orb. Um, it's called Tiny Orb or Cube Orb, and um, she has a really nice set of like progress photos and how it was built, all the 3D printing. This has it's powered by Circuit Python, um, and you can get an idea of what a cool project you could build with 3D printer, Circuit Python, open source hardware and software, and you could just see like. So it's funny this about this, it's like, you know, we did that cube project, you know, Phil B and Owen Pedro did an amazing LED cube, like 64 by 64, you know, panels, six of them. And it's like, I was like, we're done. We did the cube. And then like Geek Bomb is this like, mic drop, time for orbs. Here's round. Ta yeah. Time for orbs. And I'm like, no, we, now we have to make yeah. orbs. So this is really fun though. It's like actually kind of, I'm actually like, this is a little more fun than a cube. Yeah. So check out if, if you haven't, um, Geek Mom Project is pretty much the best thing on Twitter. Um, yeah. so, so do check it out. And that is our newsletter. We deliver this every single week into your inbox. Orb, orb, orb. And uh, you can go to adafruitdaily.com. You can sign up for it. It's completely separate. It has nothing to do with your Adafruit store account. We don't share email address. We don't spam. It's ad free. Subscribe anytime. Unsubscribe anytime. All that stuff. 